As you know, I'm a big fan of the Firefox browser, and with Google killing off the manifest v2 APIs in the Chrome browser engine, which affects all other browsers that are forks of Chromium, Firefox and its forks are going to be the only browsers left with access to uBlock Origin's superior ad blocking capabilities. Now, unfortunately, Firefox ships with a lot of default settings that really are not so great for privacy. Google is the default search engine in Firefox, telemetry may or may not be enabled depending on your package maintainer, and the articles that are recommended by Pocket are pretty cringe and could also be used for tracking you. Now, just like how there are Chromium-based browsers out there that improve on Chrome's abysmal default privacy settings, there's Firefox-based browsers like the Mulvad browser, which is made by the same company that created Mulvad VPN. That's right, they released a browser, I think about a year ago, um, and one of my personal favorite Firefox forks is LibreWolf. Both of these browsers ship with the uBlock Origin extension already installed, and the Mulvad browser also comes with the Mulvad VPN extension. So that's a pretty handy thing to have, because unfortunately, VPNs, proxies, or Tor, really any way of changing your IP and location, is the only way to prevent IP and location-based tracking on the web. Now, I should point out that even though this browser ships with a VPN extension, it doesn't actually work unless you pay for a Mulved VPN subscription and you're running Mulved with WireGuard in the background. Uh, now, you can pay for a Mulved subscription anonymously with Monero or Cash by Mail. So yeah, I guess you could say that batteries are not exactly included with this extension, but if you need a privacy respecting VPN, which you do to most effectively avoid online tracking, then you really can't go wrong with buying a Mulvad VPN subscription from their Onion site with Monero. Now, there is one big downside that these browsers have compared to Firefox, which is that not many package maintainers are going to have Mulvad or LibreWolf in their repos. So there's a very good chance if you wanna use these, you're gonna to have to manually install and update them. And I don't even think that Mulvad has been ported to BSD systems yet, so that could be a real pain point if you're using OpenBSD or FreeBSD and you wanna try out the Mulvad browser. Now, if you can't get these browsers installed on your operating system, there is a way to fairly easily modify Firefox to have the same built-in tracking protection that these browsers have by just replacing the default user.js file with a hardened one. So this is a configuration file that contains all the different options you would be able to edit by going to about double colon config in your browser search bar. So this is obviously a whole lot faster to just install the pre-configured user JS instead of manually editing dozens and dozens of different preferences and repeating that process for each one of your Firefox profiles, which by the way, you should be using browser profiles to have much better privacy on the web, basically create a different profile for every different thing that you're gonna be doing online. It helps to compartmentalize things. But yeah, you can just slap that user JS file inside of the folder for each of your Firefox profiles and then it's going to go ahead and apply those settings to that profile but you should still be familiar with the different options that are in about double colon config so that you can assess the value of whatever user.js file that you're gonna use before just blindly installing it and trusting that the package maintainer knows what they're doing. So the user.js file that I'll be using for comparison to these different browsers today comes from the Arkenfox GitHub repo. I've applied it to a fresh Firefox profile with no other changes made, and now we're gonna look at the differences between these three browsers. Mulvad and Arkenfox both use DNS over HTTPS by default, while LibreWolf does not. 
Mulved uses its own DNS servers and maximum security in the DNS settings, while Arkenfox uses Cloudflare and default DNS over HTTPS protections. Mulved and LibreWolf both change the default search engine to DuckDuckGo, while Arkenfox leaves it on the Firefox default of Google. Arkenfox and LibreWolf both have WebGL disabled, but they have support enabled for third-party cookies, while Mulved has the opposite of these settings. WebGL could be seen as a privacy and a security risk because it lets websites interact with your graphics card, which increases your browser's attack surface, and it also allows for much greater fingerprinting capabilities since graphics cards are gonna be a fairly unique piece of hardware across different systems. Now, another thing that I noticed in different fingerprinting tests is that Arkenfox and LibreWolf both appear to be spoofing the operating system that is in use in the user agent settings. But as you can see, other methods can be used by sites to detect the true operating system that you're using. So, you know, this might not be that great of a setting to mess around with. I mean, there are other extensions out there that can be used to spoof the user agent of your system more effectively. But at the end of the day, it's really debatable how effective changing your user agent is at stopping tracking because most of the time the spoofed fingerprint that your system ends up with is even more unique than just a regular one. Plus, if you do manage to effectively mask what operating system you're using, then you're gonna be directed to the wrong platform version of software whenever you're searching for software to download online. So in conclusion, these browsers, along with a good uBlock origin configuration file, is gonna be the best that you can get these days for private web browsing. I'd probably rate Mulvad browser as slightly better than the other two because it's using Mulvad's DNS servers for DNS over HTTPS instead of Cloudflare's. And it doesn't do this weird fingerprint spoofing that the other two browsers seem to be doing. Also, with WebGL being enabled in Mulvad, there's a lower chance that websites that rely on it for 3D graphics and stuff like that won't be broken, which obviously matters a lot. No point in browsing the web if the content that you want to view isn't able to render. But keep in mind that you can still do additional configurations to all of these browsers, like changing the DNS servers that are used by LibreWolf. That's a pretty common config change that I actually make when I use LibreWolf. And being more familiar with your browser settings will, again, give you the knowledge that you need to assess the privacy of your browser and make sure that whatever you're being sold as a private browsing experience really is. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with a Chromium user that should try surfing the web the based way. And check out my online store, base.wen, where you can get awesome merch like the tie-dye tour tee or the come and find it hoodie. 10% discount store-wide when paying in Monero XMR. Have a great rest of your day.